Hello, Outport East here, Outport Doors, everything fishing, everything outdoors. And today, we're gonna do a first look at this new pack that I got today. Before we start talking about it, um, I just wanna tell you what my objective is with this pack, because people are gonna have different objectives with it. As you can see, it's more of a tactical pack. You know, it, it, it has that tactical look. But guys, just because it has pals webbing, molly webbing, whatever you wanna call it, doesn't mean you have to use it for a tactical bag, a range bag, bug out bag. You can use this as a, an overnight pack. You can use it as a bushcraft pack. You can use it as your everyday pack if you want. It's kind of big for that. But you can use it to travel. You can use it for anything. This could be your check luggage. It, it doesn't matter. The sky's the limit. And when I was looking for a pack around the 50 liter range that would fit all of my needs, this pack kept popping up on my radar it just kept coming and i think it's going to be a great bushcraft pack so i just wanted to make my uh my first impression um initial thoughts on it and i'm going to talk to you about a bunch of things about the pack um i love packs guys i love gear uh if you're new to the channel uh it's fishing camping outdoor gear, everything outdoors i do uh kayak stuff boat stuff if you're so inclined you can feel free to subscribe if not, hallelujah, or if you just want to see the pack, I'll stop yapping and I'll start talking about the pack. <laughs> what are some of the characteristics of the pack? I'm sure you've seen other videos if you're looking for, into it. But you have this admin pouch, this, this big admin pouch here. You have a smaller um, accessory pouch here. You have a felt lined um, pouch here. I mean, you put glasses, stuff like that in there. You have a bigger side pouch here and another side pouch here I'm just gonna show you some of the stuff that I got in it this is not like a gear load out or anything I just put stuff in here so I can like add weight for the hike tomorrow and to see what goes in there and hopefully this helps you make your decision and, uh, compression straps that go down the side which is gonna you know make it more compact uh, that's one thing I was looking for in a pack the pack couldn't go out this way too much I absolutely hate packs that do that. Um, for instance, like when you start filling up the, you know, a large Alice, it, it just goes out this way and it, 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 it makes you like kind of like a teeter totter, you know, it, it's, it's really hard. So the pack had to be semi thin and this pack is semi thin. Um, I'm going to put a link to it in the description. It's not a affiliate link or anything. It's just so you can get all the specs and details. So I don't read them off wrong people scream at me so you got webbing everywhere dude i mean you can attach stuff to this thing everywhere up here there's two two um two straps that go through the stitching on it looks great um you got x x stitching here all of the stitching looks phenomenal i mean 180 bucks for the pack you have to you have to expect a, a, a pretty decent product the fabric is 1050 denier it's ballistic nylon. So it's not Kodora. There's a big difference. So I have bags and I have uh, some examples here. So this is 1050 um, nylon, ballistic nylon. And then this pack here, for instance, this little guy is 1000 denier Cordora. And this just, I can't explain really the way it feels, but the difference is night and day. This 1000 denier Cordura is way thicker. It feels way more abrasion, ab abrasion resistant. Um, it's just, it, it's, it's just a superior product all in all. This one, this one is 500 denier Cordura, which I think you're kind of getting in the ballpark here, but to be honest, this still at 500 denier Cordura, to me, I'm not a, a fabric expert, but just to a regular everyday guy, a dad, a husband, dude who works, this feels even still doesn't feel as at like, it feels more abrasion resistant. It's thin, but it, it still it feels a little better in my opinion. More webbing in the front, your admin pouch, um, your, your little 
accessory pouch. Got some hook and loop here for your insignia. Got some hook and loop, hook and loop here. Um, you know, perfect for a name if, if you're a veteran. Thank you for your service if you're a veteran. But if you're a veteran, you have a name tag. Boom, you can get a name tag made. All that fancy jazz. Start getting into it. This admin pouch. Big ol' admin pouch, dude. <laughs> Pockets for days. So, this front, this, this pouch right here, I have a little compass. Got, got a, a roll of one inch Gorilla Tape. You know, just, just some stuff you would take. Got a, a belt knife. That's a stainless steel belt knife for food prep. A hook knife. A saw. You know, regular stuff you take. Uh, another another belt knife. This one's more for different tasks. Like I said, I'm not going to be talking about gear. Some, you know, sharpening tools. Some cloth. As you can see, I have a lot of stuff in here. Up here, I have my fire kit. So, as you can see, guys, pockets, pouches for days. I mean, it's just phenomenal. And that's why this kept popping up to me. I was like, man, I kept looking at it. I kept looking at videos about it. And the more I looked at it, the more I was like, man, I gotta get one of those. I gotta just try it. I don't know if it's gonna be for me, but I gotta try it. As you see, pouches, pockets. Uh, you got some pen pouches here for you guys who are gonna take it to the office. Got another pouch here. And then you got a bigger pocket here, which in here I have a first aid kit. This ain't a boo-boo kit either. This is like a trauma kit. So that's uh, my first aid kit. That's just the admin pouch. And there's still space in there. But I, you don't want to fill it up to the point where it's like bulging. But there's still space in there. The zippers on the bag feel phenomenal. They're YKK. So obviously we know what YKK is. And uh, they're, they're great zippers. They all feel great. They all feel like they're, they're going to hold up. And they're different sizes. So this is a smaller size, but then the main, the main zipper is a bit larger. Up here, got some more stuff. Got a, you know, a headlamp, a little notebook, some extra batteries for the headlamp in a pouch. <laughs> a lot of pouches, a lot of pockets, pockets in pockets. This thing is like inception. Compression strap up here which I think is a great design. I'm gonna show you right now. So this release is right here, but it doesn't just flap over. It has these, these little kind of like C clips here that hold it in, which you can take it out if you want. And in there, I just have a hatchet stuffed in there, which is great. But I do want to show you this CCW pouch. Let's open this up. There's some hook and loop in there that you can put a, uh, a holster. If you want to put a holster in here, there's hook and loop down here. And there's hook and loop that holds it together. But you can put other things like in there. You can put maps. You can put all types of stuff. It's a great little pouch for all types of stuff. Or your concealed carry. Which I think your concealed carry should be on your hip. It shouldn't be in the back of your bag. But, you know, teach their own. To each their own. In this side pouch, let's have a you know a little 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 cook kit. Got a stainless steel Nalgene, 750 milliliter cup, nesting cup, and the lid to the nesting cup. So that's about the capacity of this thing. That's that's as big as you're going. I'm sure you can fit your, your large, this is a, I think this is a 38 ounce, if I'm not mistaken. I'm sure you can fit your 40 ounce, you know, your clean canteen, stuff like that. Because you still have a lot of space to go up. But um, other than that, you don't have much space. 
So just know you're not fitting much more than this in this pocket. Um, I have my beloved this canteen kit and um, this does not fit in there. So that's not gonna fit in there. So it's not gonna zip up. And of course you can attach, you know, a, a, a pouch to it to fit this. But at that point you're making this thing wider and uh, I, don't, I just, I, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't start attaching stuff all over the place like that to get snagged and stuff. But you can, that's what the Molly's for. So that's not to say that that cannot be done to each their own. That's why this webbing was created in the, like, you know, in the, in the Molly stuff. When they went from the Alice to the Molly, that's why this was created. People were strapping things to, to everything. You know, and they were just like, their whole pack was just a bunch of stuff strapped to the, to the outside of it. That's why the Alice was made. That's why the Molly was, the Molly system was made to make that stuff easier. So, so do whatever you want. Got some gloves. This is just to show you what, what you can do with a pack like this. And it's a clamshell design. So when you open it up, it's just everything in there. And this is what I wanted um, with this pack. This is what I want to get out of a pack like this, you know? So you can close it like this, and if you want, like I said, phenomenal zippers. Those zippers are like doing the work for me. They're really good zippers. If you wanted to, you can keep these compression um, straps strapped, and you can just leave it like that, which is handy, you know? Keep it strapped like that, and you can dig in your bag because I'm used to bucket style packs, which I got this to, you know, kind of get away from a bucket style pack so I can have a bunch of stuff on the outside so I don't have to take everything out just to get something out. So in here I have, you know, a tent. I think this is a two person tent. It, it's a smaller tent though, it's a backpacker's tent. It's a, the uh, One Tigress Bushcraft Bungalow, I think it's called. Backwoods bungalow. But I have the tent, I have a, a lantern, everything you'll need. I have my, my cordage bag, tons of cordage, pre-made ridge line, all that stuff in there. Uh, uh, insulated sleeping pad, my extra clothes. You know, I got my wool, my wool underwear in there, another pair of wool socks, a hat, all that type of stuff um, back here. You know, my cook stuff, a bush box, all types of stuff in there. So this thing, this thing was probably pushing about 25 to 30 pounds dry the way I was packing it. So, and it feels pretty good on the back. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about that in a second. And then on the bottom, I just have my patrol bag, which is, it's from the military sleep system, modular sleep system, whatever. Um, it's just the patrol bag. So the warm weather bag. Which, that's how I put my sleeping bags in. Like, rarely do my sleeping bags ever see a uh, compression sack. It's, I usually just stuff them in on the bottom. And then when I get home, I hang them back up on the, the hangers. You know, so down, so down bags won't get destroyed and, you know, your sleeping bags last longer. Let me, let me open this up to show you what's going on in here. So in here, you have more pockets. It's really great. So um, what you have, what you can even do that I was thinking about is when you get to camp, you can just hang your bag up like by one of these um, one of these webbings or something. You can just hang your bag up right there, and you'll have a bunch of stuff ready to go if you have what sky's the limit, dude. Really, you have a, po a pocket down here, another pocket here, and then down here you have a lined pocket. That feels pretty good. The liner in the bag feels feels top notch, man. It feels it feels nice. It feels really good. It doesn't feel cheap, which I like. Top of the bag. I mean the back of the bag. You have a laptop pouch, that's what they're calling it. So if you wanna put your laptop in there, like I said, the bag's super versatile. Do whatever you want. Uh, you have this is that fleece the fleece lined pocket here. If you want to put some uh, your glasses in there. Put your glasses in there. 
a nice touch. Your phone. You know, whatever. I'm not quick to spend 180 bucks on a pack because, you know, especially like a pack like this because there's so much good military surplus. I mean, you could get an Alice, which is a medium Alice is like one of the best packs ever made. You can get one of those for cheaper. You can get a, a, a Molly 2 for like 60 bucks, you know? But that, that pack is gigantic. It's like 80 liters. But, um, you know, so I'm not really so quick to like spend money on a pack that's not going to do something specific for me. Let's talk about the back here. So on the back here, we have, uh, there's your, your back pad. Has some padding here, padding here, padding here, and padding here. I'm guessing they were going for providing airflow. I'm just going to be realistic and tell you that it's not going to happen. Um, when this thing is packed out and strapped to you, those cavities are just not deep enough. These, uh, this padding here is not deep enough to separate from these. So I'm just gonna, yeah, you know, I don't know. Maybe the one you have does that for you. And I'm guessing that's why they cut out that cavity, but it ain't going to happen. If you're looking for good airflow, buy an Osprey. You can get a... Uh, a, a Rook 50, Rook 50, or a, I don't know. You can get a lot of bags with good airflow if that's what you're looking for. But this bag ain't gonna be it. So if you're expecting your back not to sweat like a like a pig, it ain't gonna ha it ain't gonna happen with this bag. Back here, um, you have a uh, you can put your hydration system back here, and then here's the the port. For your hydration to come out run your hydration down put it on one of your straps that's a nice touch back here also there is somewhat of a of a of an internal frame which i've i've had a couple packs that have frames like this it's just a really hard piece of plastic but as well as that hard piece of plastic there's a metal bar that goes down here and it's inserted in this little sheaf right here and you can take that out and i'm sure you can bend it if you want i'm sure if you want to want to form it to your back um in a more accurate way i'm sure that's possible but like i said i don't know if i've said it though but the uh, i've had it on my back and it feels okay it's not it's not going to change your life guys it's not like a a hiking backpack but everything is give and take so just just know that it's not it, it doesn't, I don't, I don't think, I'll, I'll make a follow-up video after I do the two-mile hike, but I kind of got a grasp on what I'm going to get from this. I don't think it's going to be the most, like, comfortable rucksack in the world. I really don't. The, this is, they call it the yoke system, which feels, it feels decent on the back of your neck. I kind of like it. Uh, you got some, some more webbing here. Put the carabiner there, put whatever you want. Really, really, really thought about this stuff. It's really good. On my higher end um, packs, like my higher end like bushcraft packs, um, it's about this, it's about the same the way they think about, you know, putting some just giving you little things like these elastic pieces is huge. You know, I, I just don't understand why I get some backpacks and then there's like just stuff hanging all over the place. These little elastic pieces, you can just roll it up, make it nice, put it in, and boom. You don't have a bunch of straps hanging all over the place. And to me, little things like that are big. Small things are big things. Uh, the padding on the, on the, uh, the shoulder straps, it's decent. Like I said, it's not going to be you know, what you'll get out of a high-end hiking pack, but that's not what they're going for here. So I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna compare apples to oranges. I know what I was gonna get when I got this. You got your your hip belt, which is a decent hip belt. It's uh, it, it feels pretty good when I put it on. It, it, it hugs me nice. And it's, 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 uh, it's just like the, the shoulder strap, a little thin, 
it's not it's not padded all like all crazy but they did something and you know kudos for that it's a 55 liter pack so when you get to 55 liters dude if you pack this thing without thinking about it you can really break your back so 55 liters you could pack this thing and and really hate your life so <laughs> it's a lot of space so just just know that when you're packing out your bag it's not necessarily your bag's fault if you overpack it so what, what else is there to talk about the bottom um from what i'm gathering it's the same the same fabric so sometimes you know you'll see packs i know the the van quest mark 45 that's a 300 pack though they have a thousand denier down here it's cordora and then they have i think 500d on the rest of the bag a lot of bags do that which i think is a nice touch um, only time will tell how this is going to hold up for me anyway you know i know a lot of guys have them but uh it, I, i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna go out on a limb and say it, it's it's gonna hold up i mean it's a nice it, it's a nice fabric it is ballistic nylon but still that's that's a very 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 good fabric it's really nice down here we have some some loops so if you want to put a bedroll down here a wool blanket you know you can whatever you want to do you can strap a, t a tent down here like i say like i'm like i keep saying the sky's the limit another thing i really like about the bag is this pouch here i, I think it's great so let's say you have a um, you know, your, your poncho or your rain jacket or your tarp gets wet where you're camping, you know, and anything could happen. You can just, you know, stuff your, your rain jacket right in here and hike out. You don't have to put it, put your wet gear inside the, inside your bag. And little things like that are what I was thinking about when I bought this pack. Because when I go camping and stuff like that, that's the type of stuff that I, that gets kind of annoying, you know? Because when you pack everything in and, you know, I pack my bag usually here, right here in my living room, where it's dry, it's nice, I'm not cold, I'm not uncomfortable, I'm not tired. I pack my stuff and sometimes I can get it really, really nice. But sometimes when I'm leaving camp, I can't get it nice as nice as it was. So, I mean, if you have some wet gear, if you want to stuff your, you know, if you don't want to wrap something up and you want to stuff it in here, uh, you can. So, I think that's it, guys. I think I've spoke enough. If you're still here, holy crap, you should, uh, you should subscribe. One, one more thing, one more thing, one more thing. And this is, this is kind of a, a big thing. So, when I had it on, I was just testing it to, you know, see if, um, you know, see how everything, how everything works. These straps here on the bottom and these straps here to cinch down, you know, the, the pat, the shoulder straps and to cinch down the, the kidney pads here, the side straps here. They're very, how can I say this? They're not smooth at all. I mean, there it's kind of rough it's it's like hard to pull them when this thing is on you it's hard to pull them i don't know if it's just mine i don't know if they have to break in but that's one thing to to think about you know it's it these these are kind of hard to pull like when when that's when that's on you it, it, it like makes that sound you know when it's off me and i have nothing on it i'm sure it's easy but when i have weight on it and i'm trying to like you know cinch it down it was a little hard. That's, a, that's one thing to think about. But anyway, guys, happy you guys stopped by the channel. I hope this helped you. Uh, if you're into this type of stuff, uh, check out the rest of the channel. And uh, even if you just stopped for this video, um, I'm blessed that you guys stopped by. Thank you for stopping by the channel. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, please like it if you did. Uh, share it with a homie that's thinking about buying this bag. And uh, I hope it helps.